Hi kids, welcome to Kid Connection. We're on week two of our unit called Rise Up, where we learned last week that Jesus overcame death. Jesus rose from the dead and that changes everything. This week we're going to learn what a difference it made to Jesus' followers when they saw him after he rose from the dead. We're going to read about that in the New Testament of the Bible, in the book of John, chapter 20. It was the first day of the week. That evening, Jesus' followers were together. The doors were locked because they were afraid of the Jews. Then Jesus came and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. His followers were very happy when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, I now send you. After he said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you don't forgive them, they are not forgiven. Thomas was not with the followers when Jesus came, but Thomas was one of Jesus' followers. The other followers told Thomas, we saw the Lord, but Thomas said, I will not believe it until I see the nail marks in his hands. And I will not believe until I put my fingers where the nails were and put my hand into his side. A week later, the followers were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but Jesus came in and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look at my hands. Put your hand here in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you see me. Those who believe without seeing me will be truly happy. Jesus did many other miracles before his followers that are not written in this book. But these are written so that you can believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Then, by believing, you can have life through his name. Jesus' followers were really afraid, and they were hiding in a locked room. When Jesus showed up, his friends were no longer afraid. They believed that this Jesus that was standing before them in that room was the same Jesus that they had followed before he died on the cross. The Jesus who died was now the Jesus who lives. They were together when they saw Jesus after he rose from the dead. Well, except Thomas. He didn't see because he wasn't there. So he didn't believe. Jesus showed up again a week later, though. He gave Thomas the chance with the others to see for himself. And then he believed, too. That was really kind of Jesus to come back again so that Thomas could see him and have a chance to believe. With Thomas there, Jesus' followers were brought together to see Jesus together so that they could tell the good news. Jesus connects us to each other. That's our big idea for the week. Jesus connects us to each other. Now, do you remember our puppet friend, Callie? She was on a camping trip, right? Let's check in with her because I bet you she has some things to teach us about this story as well. together and help my brother and me have fun. We sang songs and talked about things we saw on the trail leading to our campsite. I realized something. It surprised me. 
But at home, I always use my iPad or watch TV and don't really spend time with my family as much. When we were on the trail, we spent more time talking and helping each other. It helped me feel close to my family and I really like that. Take a look at this picture. Isn't it fun? You know what else is fun? Today's Bible story. Let's listen together. It's time for our Bible story. Today we will learn another fun story about Jesus. So after Jesus rose up to life from the place where he was buried, he appeared to his disciples, his friends, who followed his teachings and loved him very much. They saw Jesus go through really painful things. They thought he was dead, but now he was standing right in front of them. At first they were afraid, but Jesus told them, don't be afraid, and soon they weren't afraid anymore. They started to believe that Jesus was alive again and in front of their very own eyes. And then he did something that made them extra sure. He showed them his hands. His hands had scars that proved it was him. The same Jesus that was on the cross just a few days before. When something happens to you, like scanning your knee, when you're playing outside, usually you can see where you were hurt while it's getting better. Jesus showed them the places in his hands that were on the cross, and the disciples were able to see where his wounds used to be. Jesus went through all of that because he loved the world and wanted to save us all. When they saw the scars on Jesus' hands, the disciples knew without a doubt that it was truly Jesus. He really did raise up back to life. And because of what they saw with their own eyes, they would have the courage to tell others what they saw. Our family really connected on the trip. I talked to a little squirrel. That was super fun. And my brother and I made funny and bubbly sounds like the water that was flowing next to the trail. That Bible story was something great though, wasn't it? I imagined the disciples were on a journey too, kind of like my family. They had to hike through all sorts of things together. Jesus brought them all together and helped them to believe. And Jesus does that for us too. No matter who we are, Jesus connects us to each other. When we believe in Jesus, together we can do things we couldn't do by ourselves. Well, gotta run now. I'm still trying to catch up on the sleep that I missed while I was camping. Thanks for tuning in and growing with me. Peace out. Kelly's family really connected on their camping trip. They were stronger together because they spent so much time together and they worked together to get some really hard things done, like setting up their campsite. Jesus' followers were stronger together because Jesus appeared to them when they were together. That allowed them to help each other to remember Jesus died, but he rose again and we saw him. And that gave them a lot of strength and faith to do the very important job that Jesus gave them to do. And that was to tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is the Savior who died and rose again. And Jesus gave us who believe in him the same job today. If Jesus is our Savior, it's our job to tell others that he's the Savior who died and rose again. I'm so thankful that Jesus connects us to each other so that we can help each other and make each other stronger as we work hard to do the job that God gave us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus so that he could be our Savior and we can be connected to you. I pray for any of the children, Lord, who haven't trusted Jesus as Savior yet. I pray, Lord, that they will understand that Jesus is your son who died on the cross and rose again to give new life to everyone who believes in him. Lord, help us to love Jesus like you love him. Help us to love others like you love others, and help us to do a good job of telling others about Jesus the Savior. Amen. Well, the last thing we have to do tonight is work on our Bible memory verse. We started this last week. Let's go ahead and review it again tonight. 
It's Romans 10, 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. I'm going to read it one more time for you. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. Well, that's it for this week. We'll be back next week for week three of our unit called Rise Up. We'll see you next time.